Okay, it's day 142 of this yellow onion germination experiment. And as you can see, this plant sort of forms a bouquet of white flowers. They're very small and delicate, and the flowering process itself takes many, many weeks. You know, at the beginning it was just this hollow leaf tip, but the hollow started to fill with flowering structures. So it's just a whole bunch of inflorescences that seemingly come out of nowhere, you know, from one leaf tip, the tallest growing leaf. And there's so many more flowers jammed in there. There's at least a few dozen. You know, um, let's see, maybe 50 would be a good estimate. So it's just a very beautiful yet delicate structure. And as you can see at the top, there are still a little bit of webbing and some spider mites at this point. So they're ruining uh, my flower watching experience essentially because they've infested all five of my plants and you know I have to do something about this so pretty soon I'm gonna spray this all with some insecticide I'm gonna go back to my bare advanced beta cyfluthrin so it's day 145 and I don't think you can see any spider mites anymore all over the entire plant uh, they really bugged me because they would just kinda run around aimlessly all day and climb along every stem and stalk and leaf for the first few nymphal instars, you can't even see them. There are these tiny little specks that just look like translucent dust. But when they get to the final stage, you can kind of see a gray speck in the center of them. And they're big enough to see. So this miniature flower bouquet has opened up a little bit more. And its longevity is astounding. It takes so long for this to develop. And it stays in bloom for a really long time. And, you know, some, I think I saw one flower sort of dying already and there are many that haven't even bloomed yet so it's a continual very long drawn out process and it kind of reminds me of great myrtle or orchids that stay in bloom for a very very long time so the rest of the foliage is healthy I sprayed beta cyfluthrin it's a synthetic analog of you know pyrethrins which are a pair of organic molecules occurring in you know the pyrethrum plant which uh, is in the chrysanthemum genus it's kind of flower pyrethrins are neurotoxins to insects and they have a very short half-life in exposed conditions due to heat and moisture and air so you know it doesn't last very long but you need to get direct hits to kill the insects and if you don't it still acts as a repellent but I'm seeing movement here you know I'm seeing those little residual strands of webbing and they're kind of like a hybrid or organism, you know. There are many, many species of spider mites, but they're sort of in between between mites and spiders. They're very bizarre. I didn't even know these things existed until my sweet potato vines got totally overrun. So yeah, it's disgusting and there are survivors. There's a lot of surface area in those flowers. Um, you know, before it unfolded like that, so so I see no other choice but to continue to spray beta cyfluthrins, you know, pyrethrin analogs every few days until the problem goes away. I'm pretty sure it's only confined to this flower clump because uh, all the other places are so exposed on the leaf surfaces. You know, these yellow onion leaves don't really have undersides.